In this lesson, I'm going to tell you what is Conveyor and how to install Conveyor. Well, Conveyor is a Visual Studio extension, and with the help of this extension, we can easily test our web API or web applications inside our mobile device. Just go to the Visual Studio Marketplace, and there I'm going to search Conveyor. All right, let's pick this. Now, there are two ways to download and install this extension. You can download this extension from this website, or you can download this extension inside the Visual Studio. Let's go to the Visual Studio. And there, let's go to the extensions, then choose Manage Extensions. Now make sure Online tab is selected and then search for Conveyor. Alright, then just download this extension. Once it's downloaded, then we need to restart the View Studio. Let's close the Wheel Studio. When we close the Wheel Studio, then this installer dialog appears. And there, let's click this modify option. And it's going to install this extension. Alright, our installation has been completed. Just close this and reopen the Wheel Studio. Now I'm going to open my web API inside the Wheel Studio. And here you can see that we have this conveyor option. Now we'll use this URL to run our web application inside the mobile device. But before this, let's go to the documentation of the conveyor extension. And there you can see that we have to add an inbound rule to access the TCP port in the remote URL. So we need to follow these guidelines. Let's go to the Windows Start option. And search for wf.msc. Now click inbound rules on the left. Then click new rules that is on the right hand side. Now choose port and click next. Then select TCP and enter the port from the remote URL. It's saying that probably the port will be 45455. Then click Next. Next. And next, you may want to disable the public and give it a name like conveyor colon dev server access enabled. All right, so we have added the inbound rule to use this extension. Now we can use this inside the mobile device. But before working with that, let's run our web API. And then inside the mobile device, let's add the URL. And along with that, we'll add the weather controller that simply returns some JSON data. All right. So that's working fine. So this is how you can work with Conveyor to test your web applications and web APIs inside the mobile device.